Today is the fateful day that I am finally downgrading. Today is the day that I am finally upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11. It's 60% downloaded right now and I'll get back to you when it's installed. Hi, I'm Justin from Random Tech Videos and before I get into this video, please consider subscribing to the channel for more tech videos and like the video if you think it's going to be helpful. So anyway, back to the video. Windows 11 has successfully installed right here as you can see. The immediate thing I don't like is when I click the start menu, the start menu is not even centered over the start button. And I hate the way how it's in the middle. I'm going to put this back to the left right away. I'm going to literally change this right now while I'm talking on the video. <laughs> Thankfully that's fairly easy to fix, but I also really hate the new start menu. I don't have a list of all my programs. Instead, it's what Microsoft recommends and what I pin there. I'm tired of Microsoft just trying to mess up everything. Anyway, I shouldn't rant too much right now. I'll get back to you in a week in this video after I've used it for a while to see what it's like. One positive thing though, everything is still intact when I did an upgrade from Windows 10. No issues there as far as I can tell. And if I needed to, I could roll back within the first week or so. Through the power of video editing, it has now been a week since I installed Windows 11 on my PC. So as you can see, yeah, this is still Windows 11 on my PC right here. Yes, I have endured using Windows 11 for a week. It's not as bad as I had feared it would be, but... It's just like so frustrating, especially the start menu. Why do they make this start menu so hard to use? I should just have this right here. This should be what it starts like just as it does on Windows 10. That was one of the few things that I liked about Windows 10 is the easy to use start menu once you remove all the widgets. I will say I like the overall UI improvements just to make it look better. I prefer the rounded corners to square corners. But that's just my personal preference and really has no impact on the functionality. However, one thing I don't like is the alt tab menu now blurs out the entire background as you can see. Instead of just overlaying it blurs out the whole background. Also another thing I don't like is just how the UI now requires more clicks. Like in Explorer I have to click new and then click folder if I want to create a new folder on the desktop. Or in Explorer I have to click and then it brings up this stupid new menu that I have to click show more options just to get my usual stuff back every single time. Folders don't show any thumbnails of photos or videos in them. Seriously Microsoft, if it isn't broken, why do you have to break it? Another example of this is if I just try to switch what Wi-Fi network. Instead of just clicking on my Wi-Fi icon, I have to click on this menu for all the stuff and then I can access the Wi-Fi network. Seriously Microsoft, why do you have to do this and call it better? The only reason I upgraded to Windows 11 is because if I don't I'll eventually lose support and so I might as well upgrade now rather than a few years from now. And this isn't even to mention all the half finished and broken stuff in Windows 11. Like I can't show you right now because I can't replicate it, but they're just like random weird glitches where I have to just restart the computer for no apparent reason. And also just unfinished features like the fact that Android apps aren't currently available in the public build of Windows to be installed at the time of filming. Yeah, I could just go on forever ranting about how much I hate Microsoft or whatever. Well, anyway, Windows 11, it's okay. I mean, it's, uh, I don't want to say this, but it's kind of a downgrade from Windows 10, yet an upgrade, yet not. I, I don't know what to say about Windows 11. My first impression of that is like a mixture of like something I like and something I don't like. I do wish on the taskbar, I like the centered taskbar, but not if it's unbalanced. I wish that the start button and other task buttons could be on the left and then you have your tray on the right and then your apps in the middle. I think that looks so much better. If you want to install Windows 11, install it, but realize that some things won't be as easy to do as on Windows 10. However, other things will be easier to do. Like if I wanted to snap a window to a position, all I have to do is mouse over it and then I can click on where I want it. So I guess that's useful. Other than that, and just the fact that it works properly with 12th gen Intel CPUs, which Windows 10, the scheduler can't handle it. 
there's really nothing that stands out that's good about Windows 11. Also, I really don't like Microsoft for forcing people to get the new version of Windows by making Windows 10 not handle the scheduler properly for CPUs that have high efficiency and performance cores. Oh, one more thing I wanted to talk about is the speed. This is positive. I have not noticed any decrease in speed since I switched to Windows 11 as opposed to Windows 10. However, I can't give you any scientific analysis on this because I didn't measure it. It just doesn't seem any slower and my Cinebench scores don't seem to be any worse. But then I have a Ryzen 9 5900X with 64 gigs of RAM and a 2 terabyte Samsung 980 Pro and an RTX 3080 Ti. So it's not exactly like the most basic system that Windows 11 can be installed on. Anyway, I hope you find this video helpful just sharing some of my thoughts on Windows 11, like first impressions and what it was like to upgrade from Windows 10 to windows 11 until my next tech video which hopefully will be more positive and not just complaining until then thanks for watching this video and goodbye